Yo yo guys, my name is Legend and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have a special video for you guys, something completely different and it is the top 10 125 cc's of 2019. Now in this video I'm just going to focus on new bikes, so no discontinued models or anything like that, just bikes you can buy brand new right now if you wanted to. Now do keep in mind this is my personal opinion on the top 10, your opinion might be different, but let's just get right into the video. During this video I will be posting some specifications on screen, but let's just get right into it. First off I would like to give an honorable mention to KTM, the KTM Duke 125 and the KTM RC 125. Now why am I not putting them on this list? Well, my personal experience with KTM hasn't been that great. As some of you guys might know, that's why I'm not including them in this list, but I'm sure they're great bikes, my experience just hasn't been that good with them. The first two bikes in this top 10 are the Yamaha R125 and the Yamaha MT125. I'm very familiar with the R125 because I have one myself, they're awesome bikes, look great, perform great for a 125 and the R125 has been redone for 2019. So definitely a good option to consider if you're looking for a 125cc. There is also the Yamaha MT125, which is the naked bike by Yamaha. Also looks beautiful, has a sort of Street Fighter kind of look to it. I've personally ridden the MT125 before and it's very comfortable. A little bit more comfortable than my R125 because you sit up more. On the R125 you're in like a tucked in sports position all the time. So if you're looking for a little bit more comfortable ride, the MT is a really good option. Moving on to the third and fourth bike on this list are the Ninja 125 and the Z125. Kawasaki released these two bikes not too long ago, they're new to their lineup. I don't have a lot of experience with them, well actually I don't have any experience with them because they're so new. I haven't had the chance yet to ride one, but just by looking at them you can tell they look beautiful. And they're a little bit less expensive than the Yamaha. I'm pretty sure these bikes perform pretty similar to the Yamaha as well, as they have the same amount of power, 11 kilowatts or 15 horsepower. Now I'm going to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of how the Ninja 125 looks. It just kind of reminds me of a more aggressive Honda CBR. But let me tell you, I am a huge fan of the Kawasaki Z125 and in my opinion it actually looks better than the Yamaha MT125. Moving on to the 5th and 6th bike on this list are the Suzuki Chixer R125 and the Suzuki GSX S125. Now again, these haven't been released for that long, they're still pretty new as well, so I don't have a lot of experience with them. Also, they're a slight bit cheaper than the Kawasaki and the Yamaha as well. Looks wise, I'm also not the biggest fan of them, but I'm, I'm sure they ride great. I know some people that have the GSX-R and they say it's a really slim bike. It's not that wide, if that makes any sense. I mean, if, if that's something you're into, then this might be the bike for you. Performance-wise, again, these bikes will perform pretty similar to the Kawasaki's and the Yamaha's. The reason they made this list is Suzuki is a really reliable brand. So buying one of these bikes is really not going to cause any problems down the road. But yes, again, looks-wise, I'm not the biggest fan, but that's just personal opinion. Next up on the list, are the Aprilia Tuono 125 and the Aprilia RS 125. One of my friends has a Tuono 125 which I've ridden before which is awesome. It had a quick shifter which is so much fun and the bike is really comfortable as well. So I have personal experience with this bike and from my experience it is really fun to ride. I mean the quick shifter is so much fun. It looks great, slightly cheaper than the Yamaha's once again. Yamas are pretty expensive bikes and yeah they, they look great. One of the better looking 125s in my opinion. Also performance for all of the bikes on this list is going to be pretty similar. They're all 4 stroke, all around the same weight and power. Although do keep in mind if you're on a naked bike you will catch more wind which slows you down a tiny bit. Me and the friend with the Tuono did a little race and my R125 
was a little bit faster, not because of performance, but because my R125 is more aerodynamic. The RS125 is also a beautiful bike in my opinion. Definitely a solid option for a 125 motorcycle. And last but not least is the Honda CB125R and the Honda MSX or the Grom. So you're actually getting 11 bikes on this list. Now I never really was a big fan of Honda when it came to 125 motorcycles, but the all new Honda CB125R design is beautiful. It's a really nice looking bike, sort of a mixture between old and new school, some sort of like naked bike slash cafe racer. Uh, it looks beautiful. As well as the Honda Monkey and the Grom, I just had to put them on this list because as you guys know, I'm a huge mini bike fan and these bikes are so much fun. Now, I'm going to be honest, I think these mini bikes are a little bit expensive for what you get, but nevertheless, they're so much fun to ride. Sadly, I've not been on the new Monkey before, but I've been on the Grom and it's so much fun to rip around on those small things. So definitely a solid option. Now, if you enjoyed this type of video, then please let me know in the comments down below and leave a like. Also, let me know if there are any bikes that you like as a 125 that weren't on this list. If you really enjoyed, then consider subscribing and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.